Right, so I'm 29 weeks this week and I thought I would do like a bit of a baby haul because I've recently ordered loads of stuff from a few different places and they've all came last week so I've not actually unpacked them all, I can't remember what I've ordered to be honest but I figured I'll go through them with you and then um, afterwards I'm going to start organising stuff into a drawers because all of the drawers are empty and I've got some drawer organisers and stuff like that so I just want to kind of get a bit organised and know what I've got and what I've got left to get so let's start with m and I bought quite a few bits from m and like I say I can't remember I did actually get a few things in store when I had a week off with my mum so I figured I'd show them on here as well because they are so cute got these little baby grows the little pink ones with bunnies on and these ones have actually got a zip which I figured would be quite handy although I'm not sure if it's going to be handy or if it's going to be like making the baby naked in the middle of the night it will wake her up or whatever but it just seemed a bit more helpful than buttons and it came in a set of two with this little white stripey one. Oh my god it's just so cute look how tiny that is how little baby's gonna be in that and then this oh my god i think we're gonna bring her home in this to be honest and i think there are quite a few outfits in i think it's in the mamas and papas bag that i was like oh my god that's a potential going home outfit oh my god that's a potential going home outfit so there could be a few potential going home outfits in the video as well look how cute is the bunnies for me look at that so cute so even though she's going to be a summer baby, the weather's not really that predictable in England, so it might she might still need a jacket or something to put on. So I just got this in newborn, I think, or up to one month, so it says up to £10. And that's the thing as well, like, you don't know how much they're going to weigh. So let me actually open the bag delivered from m and Alright, okay, I think I've got quite a few basics from m and because everybody raves about them. So I got five of the white sleep suits. And I'm pretty sure these are the ones where... So they've already got the scratch mitts built in. Everybody raves about them. They're just white basics. I know they're probably going to get poo sick, everything else over them. But, you know, it's just a staple. That's another thing. Like, I feel like as a first-time mum, I was really, like, confused as to what to buy, like, or how much of what to buy, if that makes sense. Like, how many baby grows do I need? How many vests do I need? How many outfits do I need? But, I mean, I guess I've been really lucky because there's a lot of people around me, friends and family, that have been able to give advice. So I, I did order two packs of these, one in newborn and one in not three, um, because obviously they're the ones that she's gonna be in straight away. So they're the not three, they're the newborn. So just basics in that. And then I got this as well. So like I say, she's gonna be a summer baby. So I've got the short sleeve bodysuits and the strappy ones but like they're just like a little strap rather than a full-on t-shirt or long sleeve so like i say again with them i got a pack of the strappy ones in newborn and a pack of the strappy ones in not three and then i also got like the t-shirt vest again just white just basics i have one pack in newborn and one pack in not three so i've got seven short sleeve body suits five of the strappy body suits get my words out and five of the sleep suits in both not three and newborn oh i picked up some more baby grows the peak baby grows these are just so cute but i think those other baby grows were up to one month so they are up to 10 pounds like i say i don't know how much she's gonna weigh but a lot of people have been saying that the biggest mistake they made was not having enough newborn stuff or like tiny baby because obviously sometimes when they I mean you can either have a hefter or a little baby so they didn't really have enough newborn stuff when they were first came and like the not three stuff's too big so I have got a few bits for newborn just so that we're not going to struggle if she's really tiny um so newborn at M&S is up to seven pounds six ounce and I just got these two little sleep suits that's got a little bunny on Again, these are zippy ones. I haven't obviously got all zippy ones. Those basic ones are buttoned. Um, but I thought it'd be nice to have both because I think Mitch would quite enjoy a zip rather than doing all the buttons in the middle of the night as well. So um, so it's just that one with the bunny and then underneath there's just a little pink dotty one. They are just so cute. I can't believe how small they are. And then there's one thing left in the m &S bag. Oh, it's a little outfit. That is so cute. So it's got like a little 
top almost looks like a little top dress so again this will be nice for the summer for it's light it's cotton and then it comes with some little pink leggings that's such a cute outfit it looks so good I think I'll do next next so I ordered a lot of things from next as well I've been really struggling to find stuff that says I love daddy or whatever it's just like I love my mummy or yeah they just don't really have I love my daddy anywhere not that I've seen and I've already got like a nice little outfit of like I love my mummy so I got her these little bibs because it says I love my mummy on the first one and then on the second one it says I love my daddy so cute again that's something that some everybody says you can't have enough of bibs and muslin it's like you will go through them like there's no tomorrow so I did pick a few up that was the other thing I was gonna say as well like it's really difficult being pregnant in lockdown I guess because I was speaking to my mum the other day you know we was really excited to like go on a shopping day and like go and like get loads of stuff for her and buy like loads of outfits together and and you just you can't do that like there's nowhere open I think the only really time we've been able to go out and shop for it is when we went to shop for the pram and that was just before we went into lockdown for Christmas so we were lucky we got to do that but we just I don't know you just don't you don't get to experience everything like you should so like I said she is going to be a summer baby so I picked up are these a newborn so these are up to one month and they're just little rompers for the summer like when if we have a nice hot day she's just gonna look so cute because I have already got some rompers but not three so you know if she was tiny we do have really nice sunny days then at least I've got something small enough to put her in and this came as a pack of two I just I love the floral like ditzy stuff for little baby girls it's so so cute if you're not having a baby you could turn this into a drinking game because every time I say so cute you could take a shot and you'll be well on your way oh these are cute I think this is just a two pack of oh these are really cute I literally cannot remember what I ordered so it's quite nice it's a nice little surprise oh so this is like a pack of two sleep suits what size did I get these in so these are not three so that's the first one these again are zippy ones and this is the second one oh. I just love the floral dizzy print. So these are not three, again some more sleep suits. I don't think you can ever have enough sleep suits. So it's a pack of two, some little bunnies. I don't know if they do like loads of bunny print stuff because it's almost Easter with like April coming up and stuff, but it is just so sweet. That's the first one and then there's the second one is um, just a little pink stripey one. The not three ones obviously definitely a little bigger. Ah, here it is. I knew I'd got something like this. So this is in, this is up to one month. So these are the ones that match the bibs that say I love mummy and I love my daddy. I haven't actually showed Mitch these yet, so he's gonna love this one. So this is the I love my mummy one. It's just so cute. Look at the floral print on the mummy. That's me, I'm gonna be a mom. I just can't believe it, honestly. Um, and then this is the I love my daddy. So sweet. Mm. And that's another thing, like between all all the places that you order from, like first size newborn, they all seem to vary. So most of them will say like up to seven pounds, up to ten pounds. See this one says wait seven point eight pounds. So again, that's like them other newborn ones that I bought. So if she is a small baby, obviously these are what she'll be going in first. So this is a pack of three. Oh my God, they're tiny. They are so small. Oh my God. Oh, they are so cute though. So they're all like clipped together. So I'll try and show you the best I can. Look. And there's like a little crinkly sleeve on the it's just so sweet so there's like bunnies hedgehogs mice flowers on that first one that is so cute obviously and then there's two like florally print ones by the looks of it so there's that one i love the little cuffs on these they're so cute and then this one's like flowers and bunnies and wildlife there's some hedgehogs on there too so what's left in here all some hats like I say like we pretty much had all the big stuff sorted all that's left to get really is like toiletries for her and um like clothes and then obviously bits that I need when we go into hospital so I've just been like starting to make a 
conscious effort to get around to like having enough stuff for her for when she's here which is why I've gone ma mainly newborn and not three uh, but like I say everybody always said about like muslins you will go through a lot of them and people say about getting hats because obviously they lose the heat through the head and I, didn't, I don't actually have any hats for it and I got these ones from next so this is a pack of three there's like a pink bunny one a little dotty one and a little flower of one they're so sweet uh, so I've picked up a four pack of muslins um, from Next as well. So these are just floral and bunny, a bit like the sleep suits I've got. And the last thing I've got was a blanket. We haven't really got many blankets. I think I think we've got two um, that we've been kindly like gifted by people. So I thought I would pick up a new one. And this one says newborn. So I just I liked the pattern of it. I just thought you know I'd be like oh that's nice. Nice material as well. Just a cute little blanket maybe to bring her home in. I don't know how warm it's going to be. I don't know what the weather will be like on that day, but you can never predict it anyway. So, on to the last two bags. These are from Mams and Papas. So, I just picked up a... Oh my God, it's the Welcome to the World range. The Welcome to the World range that Mams and Papas do is so, so sweet. Um, so, I just picked up three large muslins from there. It's just got a floral one, a pink one, and a like stripy pink one. <gasps> Look how tiny they are! I just love how the bum is like so big as well, like to fit their nappies in. So this is like a, an outfit set. Oh, that is so cute. And it just says live happy. So that will like be the top and then she'll have these on the bottom. How cute! It looks like the outfit's for me. Oh, that would fit into it, but with my head poking out. <laughs> oh, these are my two potential come home outfits. I just think they'd look so sweet on the website. I just, I love this one. It is so cute. Why should I get that in? Please tell me it's newborn. Yeah, so this is newborn. Again, on Mamas and Papas though, newborn is up to £10. So this doesn't look as tiny as some of the stuff that I've got from like Next and m &S. Just depends how big she's going to be. I just love this though. It's just a white sleep suit, but it's got like little flowers embroidered into it. I don't know if you can see. And it's just so, just so simple, but so sweet. So that could potentially be a coming home outfit. And then this is the hat and glove set. That's the hat and gloves. Hat and mittens um, that I thought she could wear with that. To come home in. It says, welcome. So I feel like that's definitely going in my hospital bag. What did I get that in? Newborn. Again, up to £10. So, and the little mittens match. I don't know if you can see the mittens on the front. But yeah. So that's definitely a potential coming home outfit. And so is this. So this one comes as a set. Again, Mamas and Papas. They do some really lovely stuff on Mamas and Papas. So, oh my God, it feels so cute. I'm gonna have to rejig out because I'm getting pins and needles. So, it comes as a little set. So, it comes with the little hat. I think this might be the Welcome to the World range as well. It's just the sweetest little range. It's like a velvet, is it velvet? Velvet? I'm not usually a velvet kind of gal. It rubs me up the wrong way, but it's really soft and nice. So that's the hat. It's got little clouds on. I don't know if you can see. And then, this is the matching sleep suit. Again, it's the same material and it's got like little clouds on. It's just so sweet though. So simple, it'll be really soft and comfortable for her. I can't believe it. So that is everything that I ordered. Um, we have got more bits, so what I'm gonna do now is get out the organizing boxes that I've ordered off Amazon um, to put into these drawers. And then, yeah, I guess we'll do like a time lapse of me doing some organising. So her drawers are currently, well, minus those few bits, empty. Um, so what I'm thinking is in this top drawer, with this being like a changer, I'm going to put nappies, wet wipes, like essential stuff that I'm gonna to need to grab when I'm changing her in there. And then this drawer I'm gonna do as not to, no, as newborn. Um, so all the newborn 
vests and sleep suits and then this one as not three because then obviously after newborn she'll do that and then i'll just keep obviously when she's out of newborn move not three up here then three to six um, and do it like that um these are bits that we have already got this is the stuff that i've just unpacked so i need to make this a bit more of an organized mess i guess the plan is to organise both of those patios into newborn and notch three so that I know what's going in the drawers and then get the drawers organised. Ask the question, then you said it. I was saying things you're regretting. Can't erase the steps we've taken. Can't go back to the time and place we met. I was so so now we've got some kind of organised chaos so these are newborn or up to one month sleep suits um, newborn or up to one month sleep suits again vests um, they're the strappy vests these are the short sleeve vests um, these are not to three sleep suits. These are some not to three rompers that we've got. And again, some more not to three sleep suits. And then these are short sleeve vests for not to three. Both those piles. Long sleeve vests for not to three. And these are the strappy vests for not to three. Then we've got a pile of muslins. Focus. <laughs> muslins, hats, and bibs there. And then there's just some swaddles and blankets here. So now I'm going to put the organising um, compartment things into the drawers and try and get it a bit organised. Also, I am fully aware that obviously I need to wash all the stuff before she comes. But um, like I say, I just wanted to get everything in the drawers so I know what I've got, what I need to get. Um, and I just enjoy doing it, to be honest. I don't mind taking it all back out to wash it and then put it all away. I love being in the nursery. to feel ghost inside my chest no we didn't learn our lesson but if you want can we try again try again oh yeah try top drawer wet wipes there's a few wet wipes behind here as well um i'm gonna put nappies in here and then at the back there's just some swaddles um this is hats and bibs pseudocrem the panthem whatever i'm gonna need um in there there's a teeny tiny bottle in there and some dummies and then their muslins and then in the second drawer i've got her short sleeved um vest and her strappy vest and then these are all sleep suits and then in the bottom drawer again long sleeve short sleeved strappy sleeve vests and sleep suits so and I have put a few things away in a wardrobe as well um obviously this wasn't everything that was just in the video but I've hung up her little um summer rompers her little outfit and her cardigan that we're going to bring her home in so I've hung those up um, I've got like these little dividers as well that say newborn not three three to six etc so we can just organise her clothes I'm out of breath and put day 29 weeks so, I think that's everything, um, that's everything that I bought, um, I feel quite organised, I know what I've got now, um, what we've got left to get, but yeah, 
Thank you for sitting and watching the video with me and organising everything. I think probably the next thing will be a hospital bag. Obviously not till about probably 35 weeks, but it seems to all be going around so fast. Hello. Are you coming to see me? I've finished now. And he's just come in. Wanna say hello? Hello. You like it in here, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, that's everything from me. I'm boiling now, but feeling organised, so yeah. Thanks for watching.